Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn how we can combine multiple screenshots into a one single screenshot or an image. Now there are a lot of free screenshot capture tools out there. Uh, Windows comes with his own a snipping tool, uh, which allows you to take screenshot. And Greenshot is also one of the most popular free open source tool out there. Now, if you would like to learn more about uh, Greenshot, uh, which is by far the best uh, screenshot tool, uh, you can check out my full tutorial on my channel page. I'm going to link into the description below. But why would you like to uh, combine uh, multiple screenshot into a, a single one, right? Uh, so here are two scenarios that I can think of. The first one is, let's say you are creating a step-by-step -step tutorial. And uh, rather than creating multiple image uh, screenshots, you would like to put all of them into a single one uh, in a single image. So that could be a case, or let's say you are having, uh, or you are taking a long uh, website screenshot and rather than you know cropping into a small chunk, you would want them to be in a single screenshot. So in, the, in such case, this can come handy. Now, there's a good uh, Google uh, Chrome plugin to take the entire web page uh, screenshot. And so, but maybe we'll make a video of that some, some other time. But in this uh, uh, tutorial, we'll learn how we can combine multiple screenshot into one. Uh, for that, we will be using GreenShot. So if you don't have GreenShot, uh, you can just download and install it. It's pretty simple and straightforward installation. And so we we won't need any other software. I, I know I've seen a number of people take multiple screenshot, copy and paste it into uh, Microsoft Paint, and then they combine the image. So with this trick, you don't need to do that. And you will also be able to use all the annotation tools that GreenShot Editor comes with. And so we will also use some of those just to uh, drive the point home. And so in this uh, particular tutorial, I will actually uh, create a step-by-step -step tutorial, right? And the uh, the tutorial that I'm going to create is how to create a new, uh, let's say text file, okay? And so in order to combine multiple screenshot or attach or merge multiple screenshot into a single one, the first thing you need to do is take a small screenshot. And if you have been using GreenShot, you know, you can click on print screen button on your keyboard. And that brings up uh, basically this uh, uh, set that you can select your region. So all you, all you have to do is pick a really small, tiny spot. And then it will ask you whether you want to copy that to a clipboard or open an image editor or so on. Now, if you don't see this uh, menu come up, I'll show you how to get that. But let's open this in the image editor. Okay. All right, so this is the one that we just added. Now, if you don't get the right-click menu, you can go to uh, your green chart, right-click on it, go to Preferences, and go to Destination, and make sure that Select Destination Dynamically checkbox is, is selected and then you will be able to see that menu that just came, all right? Okay, so we just took a very small screenshot here, and here what we will do, we will do Control Plus, okay, Control Plus. And so as you do Control Plus, the canvas size of the, the, the screenshot increases. And so I'm going to do a few more times, so Control Plus. Okay. Let's keep doing until we get a fairly good canvas size. Okay, so that looks all right. Now, I'm going to minimize that, and now I'm going to take the screenshots uh, one by one. So let's say I'm going to right click here, and I'll take a screenshot with print screen, and then I'll take this, and click copy to clipboard. Let's go to our already created a canvas, and then go to edit and paste, or control V. All right, so there you go. You can see that the first screenshot is showing up. So I'm going to just add let's say a, a rectangle, and then I'm also going to add a counter, like one, two, three steps. So let's say this one, I'm going to put it here, right? So that's my first screenshot, and I'm going to right click, go here, and then click on new, and then I'll take another screenshot. 
So what I'm doing is taking multiple screenshot uh, and then copy to clipboard. Go to our green shot, control V this time. I mean, it's the same thing. Now, because I took a very small, uh, you know, screenshot for the first one, I can basically hide this. So I just align that and hide. And then I'll create another rectangle here. And then one here, because we want to uh, just create a, a step by step a tutorial to create a new text document again it's just uh, just to demonstrate the the functionality right so this is the first step this is the second step and then this is the third step and finally i'm going to go here i'm going to uh, take a, a screenshot actually it did create it on my desktop but i'm not showing any icons so that's why it's not showing up so i can actually quickly show you it does have that uh, right so right here new text uh, document you can see just created so i'm going to take this screenshot just to show so select this copy minimize and then let's paste it here and then just move it here okay and then let's add another rectangle block here and then we just say number four okay so you can see that I have combined one, two, and three screenshot into a single uh, image. Uh, so before I save this as, as an image, I can actually go to crop and I'm going to remove some excess uh, canvas because we really don't need that. Okay, so I, I selected that and click yes. And so now I have uh, three screenshot into a single image. And so I'm going to go to file and click save as. I can do even go to add it and copy um, uh, this one, copy to clipboard. But for this case, I'm going to save that as an image. So go to file, save as. And now I can save this image as a PNG or JPEG or any other image for uh, type. If you choose PNG, then PNG can keep the transparency because these are the transparent sort of uh, region right here. And so if you copy and paste this image into a into a document that has some background, you may be you may see the background. And so depending upon what you want to do, you want to save it as PNG, which maintains trans transparency, or just save it as JPEG. And JPEG will not keep those trans transparency, so it'll be a, just a white space. So I'll call this a screen show. So we just copy. Uh, we just created uh, uh, an image with three screenshots. So if I go there and if I go to that image and if I open that, you can see that I have one, two, and three screenshot merged into a single image, right? And so now that you have this, you can just use this. You can use it in your PowerPoint or Word document and it should be able to work as if just a one image rather than having multiple image. So that's how we can, using this trick in GreenShot, you can actually merge multiple screenshot into single image. Again, the, the, the way in which you do it is just simply take a first, a basic screenshot with a small option, open image editor, press control plus, and then just take as many screenshots as you want and just start pasting into this. And then finally, once you're done, you can just go to file, save as, and then save it as JPEG. Okay. So that's how you actually merge multiple screenshots into a single one. Uh, and as I said, you can take advantage of all the annotation tools in GreenShot Editor also. So I hope you uh, like this video and I hope you will be able to accomplish what you were looking for. Uh, if you did, uh, please like this video. And if you like the content of this channel, then please consider subscribing to it. So, all right. Thank you very much.